Good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Monday, March 25th. I'm Christy Matino. Vice President Kamala Harris is weighing in on why the 2024 Biden-Harris campaign continues to use TikTok, despite previously warning against the security risks of the platform. Earlier this month, President Biden announced he would sign the House bill against the social media app if it were to reach his desk. It would require TikTok to rid itself of Chinese parent company ByteDance or risk being banned in the U.S. But Harris says the intent of the bill isn't to ban the app. That is not at all the goal or the purpose of this conversation. We need to deal with the owner, and we have national security concerns about the owner of TikTok, but we have no intention to ban TikTok. In fact, what it, it, it serves in terms of it's an income generator for many people, um, what it does in terms of allowing people to share information in a free way, in a, a way that allows people to have discourse is very important. But we do have concerns. The House voted 352 to 65 on March 13th to pass the bill, which now awaits a vote in the Senate. And former President Donald Trump's son Eric says seizing his father's assets would affect employees more than it hurt him, saying thousands of people who work for the Trump organization would be hit the hardest. Eric Trump made these comments the day before his father is required to pay a $454 million bond related to an order in his New York civil fraud case. This is a crooked system with a crooked attorney general in a crooked court that literally wants to put my father out of business. And, and you know who they're actually going to hurt? They're going to hurt the thousands and thousands of employees that we have in New York state. These are janitors. These are doormen. These are you know people that work in commercial buildings. Monday's deadline is when New York Attorney General Letitia James could start collection on his business and real estate interests in New York City. And retired Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer is supporting age and term limits for justices. Breyer says he doesn't have a problem with it and that terms should be long to preserve the integrity of the court. I don't think that's harmful. I mean, if you had long terms, for example, they'd have to be long. Why long? Because I don't think you want someone who's appointed to the Supreme Court to be thinking about his next job. It would have helped me having, it would have avoided for me going through difficult decisions. When do you retire? What's the right time? Thanks for joining us this morning on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow online and social media. So you stay in the know of all those headlines turning in politics.